In this video, we're going to address the last editing method that we have available to us in our profile creation methods. That editing method is editing using grip edits. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our design profile. And when you see this, what you'll notice is that there are multiple different grip types. We have triangular, circular, and square grip types. Square grip types are associated with our tangent sections. And what they do is they maintain the gradient that we have going between the two curves and it modifies the two tangents coming out, but retains the vertical curve lengths. So we're actually modifying the two exterior tangents by moving this interior tangent. Moving on from there, we have these circular grip edits and these specifically deal with the length of our vertical curve. So as I move this in and out, I am shrinking and expanding the vertical curve length. And when I get to a certain point, you'll notice I can't move past a certain point, and that's because on the opposite side, I'm running into a conflict with the nearby vertical curve on the downstream side down here. Moving on from there, we have this blue circle edit right here, a grip edit. And by moving this inwards and outwards, you can change your vertical curve using this method here. Then from there, what you can go ahead and do is you can grab this grip here, and this will modify the two tangents on either side of your vertical curve, but it will maintain your curve length. So you can move your PVI around is basically what this grip edit is doing. Uh, then from there, you have these, which they lock in the tangency and this grade of one component of the PVI. So if you want to maintain this tangency here, you would grab this grip here. And if you wanted to maintain this tangency here, you would grab this grip here. There's not much play here because of this close vertical curve, but so if I went to this one here and I selected this grip here, I could pull it this way. 